We are excited, we are pumped. I'm Courtney, this is Power Strength. We're just using weights today. Couple sets, maybe some mediums, heavy weights for certain exercises. We are definitely gonna wanna go heavy to keep it challenging, to keep you on your toes. And we need a mat, we need water for sure. We're gonna get sweaty, you are about to get hot, you are about to get warm, burning. First we warm up though, nice and easy, head nod. Down and up for four. Shoulder to shoulder for four. Here we go. Lots of kinks to get out today. Might take me the whole class to get my body warmed up. We'll see. Now I know you're sick of hearing about the marathon, but I finally ran the darn marathon two days ago. Still super sore. I will tell you a little bit about it. We'll also talk a little bit about book club, which is starting next book club. I'll tell you what the next book is gonna be. Four, three, squat, step touch. Here we go, bring it down, squat it down. Step touch, bring it up and down. Other side. Stick that booty back there, just like you're sitting in a chair. We're ready for this today. We're excited, or we will be in a few minutes. Going to sculpt every muscle. Going to sweat from every pore. 10 seconds. Leg swings coming up. Four to the right, four to the left. In three, two, one. Let's go, swing it. You can always hold on to a wall for extra balance if you'd like. Woo! How are we feeling so far? Any soreness today? <sighs> Lots of soreness. Maybe we should have made this an upper body workout today. <laughs> My upper body is fine. Feeling good. 15 seconds. Going to the floor, adductor to lunge stretch, coming up. In eight. Four, three, two. <laughs> Down to the floor, wide legs. Adductor side, rotate to a lunge, back to center, other side. Just keep rotating through. Great work. You're in it to win it today. Feeling fabulous. By the end, we're certainly gonna feel fabulous. We're gonna feel so good. 15 seconds. Way to be here, way to commit. Seven. Going into a plank, travel to arm lift. Two, one, high plank, travel right. Lift that right arm. Travel left, lift that left arm. You can just hold the plank if it's too much. Tighten up that core. Don't let it sink down. Tighten it right up there. That's it. Good work. Feeling a little bit of the struggle starting to come in. Getting out of our comfort zone today. We have 10 seconds. Coming up next, we have downward dog, coming back into plank and do a glute lift. Two, one, push back to downward facing dog. Stretch it out just for a second, bring back to high plank, lift one leg using your glute to lift that leg. Push back, other side. Think about your glute just squeezing, which lifts that leg straight on up there. You don't have to lift it high. Good. How's that tummy? Keeping it tight, yes? 15 seconds to go. Number seven, standing it up to a squat lift. In four, three, two, jump or walk it in. 
easiest squat lift. Down and up, lift to those toes. Try to squat down real low, trying to touch your elbows down to your thighs if you can before shooting up to your toes. Looking good, looking strong so far. Pumping up that energy. 20 seconds. Coming up. Two twist hops to two knee hops. We got eight. In four. Two twist hops to knee hops. Getting ready for that high impact cardio that we're going to be doing. As always, you can keep it low impact just by taking out the little jumps. Woo! Heart rate's coming up a little more. 20 more seconds right here. Jogging in place to two jacks coming up. Way to move. Five. Three. Two. Jog in place. To two jacks. Woo! Good job. Get those arms way up there on those jacks. Way up. Strong athletic arms on the jog. One more exercise of our warm-up coming up. Are we feeling better than when we started? Good. 12 seconds. Jump rope combo. Starting with just a regular jump rope. In five. Three, two, jump rope. Good. Turn it right, turn it right. Turn it center, turn it left. Four right, four center, four left. Nice. Keep it center, keep it center if you want. Right leg only, left leg up. Switch it out. 12 seconds. Back to center, just regular jump rope. Six, three, two, boom. Warm up complete. We feeling better than when we started? I know I am. I honestly didn't think I could jump at all. Just doing that jump rope makes me feel good. Take some water. Grabbing your weights, heavy weights to start. We have a squat bicep. So in squat, holding with the bicep curl, then coming up with the curl, back down. 15 seconds, grab those weights. Are you ready to roll with this? In five. Squatting it down, two. Squat it down and hold, curl it up. Now come up and curl. Yes. Trying to keep your shoulders back. Deep, deep squat. That's it. We're here. We're ready to work. We're doing it. 30 seconds. Okay, so two days ago, you've been hearing me talk about it. I finally ran. The LA Marathon, Los Angeles Marathon. Did it for fun, did it in my husband's name. So no pressure, but still, always pressure when you run a marathon, right? You wanna finish, you wanna do your best. Eight seconds. I was super excited to run around LA, see all the sights. Two, one, rest it. Whew, all right. All fours on the ground. Bare glute lifts. You can put your hands on your weights or on the ground. I'm gonna go on the ground. 
trying to lift your knees off the ground and lifting your glutes. Lifting one leg off the ground. Try to keep those knees just hovering right above the ground. You can do this with your knees on the floor as well for a modification. Try a couple hovering those knees off the ground. I bet you can do it. Good, good. Pressing your shoulders down. Don't let them creep up behind your, by your ears. Press them down. Looking amazing. 18 seconds. A few more on each side. You got 10. Ready to go. Three, two, last one here. Great. Come on up. Grab your weights. Back to biceps. Heavy weights if you got them. Single serve curl. Bringing your right hand up. Out, left, out, right in, left in. Two, one, let's go. Up and out, up and out. In and down, in and down. Then switch that lead arm if you can. Brain and body working together, yes? In fact, I don't know if I can even manage to tell you anything right now except count in, down, up, up, out. <laughs> Definitely takes your mind off the biceps though, yes? Perfect. You're a champ, look at you. So coordinated. 15 more seconds. Fabulous. Six. Three. Two. Rest. All right, definitely heavy weights if you got them. Squat hammer curl, sticking with the biceps for one more time. Squat, come on up. Squat, come on up. In four, two, one. Let's go, once again, keeping those shoulders back. Trying not to let them drop down. It's not so much a body swing. Your upper body is pretty still, except for your arms moving. Ooh, I feel those biceps working. Yeah, so during the marathon, turns out we ran by all these landmarks, like special famous places in LA, like 20 of them. I maybe saw two. It just, when you're running a race, you're so focused on not tripping, there's so many people around, there's potholes. I have to say the roads could use some work in LA. 15 seconds. I didn't see much. This what I was excited for and I missed it all. Five seconds. Two. Ugh, rest. We are on the ground, on our backs, taking our weights with us. We have single arm chest fly with a bridge. So bringing our hips up and then dropping one arm down and then the other two. One, let's go. Squeezing your glutes. That's it. Feeling your abs working as well as you bring that weight back to center. Come on, squeeze that booty. A little higher now for me. You got it. You are amazing. Great, great work. Keep going, 25 seconds. Go for it. Burning that chest. Burning those glutes. 10. First cardio set coming up. Three, two. Rest, hips come down, legs come up. Then roll yourself up, get rid of those weights. First cardio is on the floor. We have two in a row, two in a row with no, left, no rest. 
We're inchworming out to a leg tuck and back. Two, one, let's go. Inchworm out, leg tuck. You can do the leg tuck without hopping. Just do one knee at a time and then walk it back. Perfect. You got it. All right, time to move now. A little faster. Go for it. 20 more seconds, we will stand up and do side to side squat hops. Let's go, let's go. Eight, push it, push it. Three, two, stand it up side to side, squat hops. Down, try to touch the floor if you can. Keep that chest up though, keep that chest up. So many times I see this. Let's not do that. Let's not keep our head down. Let's keep it up. Let's see your beautiful face. Give us a smile. Heart rate skyrocketing now. 15. Go. Push, push. Five, three, two, rest. Ooh, those legs, shake it out, walk it around, grab water. Little short break, 22 seconds till we go again. Way to work that cardio. All right, push-ups. These ones, a little complicated. Knee comes to your same elbow then crosses to the opposite, then kick up that leg and push up. Here we go, two, one. Knee to same elbow, cross it to the other. Kick that leg up, push up. Other side, knee to same elbow, cross, kick it up. You can always do regular push-ups if you're like, what is she doing? Just a little choreography here. you're still recovering from the cardio, that's good, that means you worked hard, but we recover on the go. We keep moving, getting in a lot more exercise than most classes where you stop and let yourself recover. We don't do that. We move on, 10 seconds. That is how we get fitter, faster, stronger, five, Two, rest, Woo. nice work. Let's work those abs on our back. Corkscrew, legs come up and around, hips come up at the top, twist down to the other side. Here we go, two, one, let's go. Yesterday was my mom's birthday. It was an exciting day. We had fun, went out to lunch in Malibu, celebrated. And if you don't know, my mom is behind the camera, not now, but with all of the uh, workouts that don't have talking, the workouts outside, she is there calling out the exercises, calling out the time. I couldn't do it without her. She is a major part of this operation. Well, happy birthday, mom. 13 seconds to go. <sighs> Working those abs. This is a hard one. If you're wondering why it's so hard, it's because it is. <laughs> Two, one, rest. Whew. All right, grab your weights. Heavy, heavy, this is where you really wanna go heavy, I promise. Heavy, heavy, chest press, single arm with the bridge. So just down and up, single arm, heavy weights, let's go. Good, relaxing your face. Beautiful form. Good. If you're not feeling the burn yet in your chest, Next time, grab heavier. 
we have 30 seconds. Get that booty a little higher now. Fantastic. You are a force. We got 12. Looking so good. Three, two, one. Bring your booty down. Legs come up. Roll yourself on up. Bring your weights with you. Legs, rocking your weight. Coming down into a squat. We're holding the squat the whole time. Just swiveling right and left. Two, one, let's go. Swiveling that toe, turning your hips. So you're going basically from a lunge to a squat. You got it. Great, good Dale. Woo. <laughs> Legs are on fire. about running a marathon is when you're training you train hard but for some reason in the race you just tend to go faster push yourself harder you know you're in a race so you want to do your best we go break up, <laughs> then we make up, those last six miles man they are so tough fire, me just breaking down your body four three two yeah, rest shake it out Put those weights down, you don't need them for the next one. High to low climbers. So in high plank, knees come in for two, then go down to your elbows, knees come in. Two, one, let's go. So we're not doing cardio. It's not like a fast. It's more using your abs to bring those knees way into your chest. If you don't like to go down to your elbows, if you feel like you're going to hit your knees on the floor, you can just stay high. It's up to you. Trying to alternate your lead arm if you can, if you remember. 25 seconds. Cardio coming up next. Thirteen. Stay strong with me all the way. Six. Two. Ah, rest. Woo! All right, stand it up. Stand it up. Stand it up. Knee twist to Jack. Star. That's the first one in three, two. You're on, baby. Knee twist. Jack, star. You can do low impact right here. Right here. Maybe just do two jacks. Just like this. Good, Mickey. 25. Let's see what's coming up next. Oh boy. Lunge jump, jacks. Lunge jacks. Clapping under your leg if you can. 10 seconds. This one's gonna be a wild card. Four, three, two, lunge. Way down there. Keep that chest up. Keep moving. You can step the lunge out or jump it. You are so fit. So strong, look at you. Amazing. Keep going, 20 seconds, that's it. You can do this. Go. Come on, big push. 10. Three, two, rest. Whew. You are incredible, You're motivating me so much. Grab some water, walk it around. You 
One weight, one weight. 10 seconds. Reverse lunge to a halo around the head. Alternating sides. Two, one. Let's go. Yes. You're with me, right? One of the biggest things that you can do to try to increase your fitness is to start the exercise on time, especially after cardio. Even if you're breathing so much, just start moving a little bit. Fabulous. Big step back. Try to get that knee almost down to the floor. We have 10 seconds. A couple more. Four, three, two. <laughs> Rest. <laughs> I almost dropped the weight again. Were you here last week? And <laughs> I threw the weight. I have a mark. A permanent mark on my mat now. now. All right, squat, thrust, one arm, squat it down. Twist one arm up, working those shoulders a lot on this one. <laughs> my mat has a permanent divot now. Thank goodness the weight landed on my mat. Not on my toe, not on anyone else. I always joke, about accidentally throwing your weight. I never thought it would actually happen, right? How's those shoulders? Good job, keep going. 20 seconds. Come on, push. Way down in that squat, a little lower now. We got eight. That's it, Kirby. Three, two, rest. Whew. Shoulders fired up. Oh no, we keep the weights. Walking triceps, walking triceps, or you can do triceps in place if the walking is just too crazy. Two, one, here we go. Push it back. Hinging forward at the waist, hinging forward. That way your weights are pushing up. They're pushing up. Using that gravity. Try it out. It's such a difference if you're just walking. You're not really using your triceps. But if you're bent over, the further you bend over, the more you're gonna work. Kind of a fun one. The walk to nowhere. Right now. 17. Looking good, Steve. Six. Two. Rest. Set your weights down. Abs. On your elbows, chest is up. Legs, try to stay off the ground if you can. Knee comes in, twist over, back to center and out. Here we go. Then we switch. Trying to keep your feet off the ground. If you need to, drop them down. That's a good modification. Yes. You're a powerhouse, that's you. working our way through this workout. We are over halfway now. 27 seconds. Still feel those elbows, I mean, not elbows, shoulders. Anybody else get elbows and shoulders mixed up? It's like I never learned it as a child or something and I can't learn it as an adult. Seven. Four. Two, rest, roll yourself up, 
Stand it up, grab those weights. One reverse slide to a knee drop. So bent over, hinging forward at the waist, shoulders are back. One reverse fly, dropping that knee. Here we go, reverse fly, other knee. It's not, it's kind of like a lunge, but more just like a quick knee dropping back, more like a, like a staggered squat type of thing. Keeping your upper body in the same position, hinged forward, even as you drop that knee. Great form. Looking fired up. We're definitely fired up. Cardio is coming and it's gonna be kind of a tough one. Tuck jumps galore, coming up. Five. Three, two, rest. All right, burpee. You can walk or jump the burpee and then traveling tuck. Legs come up and over if you want low impact or you jump over. Three, two, here we go, we're on. Burpee, tuck it. Now is the time to get your heart rate up, to push yourself. Think about the present. Think about what you're doing right now, right this second. Good news, we have more tuck jumps coming up. 20 seconds. Scoop to tuck jump, coming up. Right now we're hopping over a wall. Next time, we'll go straight up. Eight. Five. Three, two, scoop it now, scoop it. Straight up, scoop, straight up. Way to go, Alma, nice. Good push. Get low on that scoop. You can even put your hands down, drag them on the ground. 20 seconds. Here we go, almost there. Keep pushing, 10, go, go. Five, three, rest. Wow, so fierce, I'm amazed. Grab water way to push it. Okay, eight seconds, one weight. Heavy weight on this one. Row, right arm, clean. Let's go. Row, clean. This is a great little recovery exercise right here. Think about your back working. We are going to follow it up with a very challenging exercise. So enjoy this. Still breathing hard like me? You work it. You know how to push yourself, that's for sure. 20 seconds. Crushing it. That's it, Donna. 10. Come on, keep going. Four, three, two, rest. All right, we are down onto our right, right elbow. Planking with a tricep. You can always put your knee down. Two, one, let's go. Try to start with both legs up. We're here the whole time. Yes, we are. We are here the whole time. You're gonna stay with me. We're gonna shake. We're gonna work. We're gonna struggle. 
Remember how we talked about getting uncomfortable? This is it right here. This is where we work it. Come on. You are halfway. <laughs> I know. I'm here too. I'm struggling right along with you. We do it together. We're not alone. Let's go. You can do this. Just 15 seconds to go. That's it. That's only a few more. Eight. Come on, you got this. Three. Two. One more, one more. Finish it, yes. <laughs> On the ground. One exercise before we head to the other side. Sit up to lift. Sit up to lift. Full sit up, legs forward. Lift those legs at the top, roll it down. Here we go. If you can't lift your legs, you can try to lift one at a time or put your arms behind you and see if you can lift them then. Yeah? It's a good trick. Well, now that you know what's coming, how do we feel? Are we scared? Scared to do the other side? Nah. You're gonna be perfect. 20 seconds. Remember, we got that easier one first to get our minds ready, get us mentally prepared. Eight. Three. Two. Rest. Roll it up, grab one weight. Left hand this time. Left hand, row to clean, you know it. You know it, take a deep breath, three, two. Here we go, row. Up. Now that you've done this, now you know next time if you need to grab a heavier weight. Maybe this time, maybe you're giving yourself a little break and I understand that because we got a really hard exercise coming. But next time you see this exercise here, you know this is one of the few exercises that we do in these classes that you can go your heaviest, right? 22 seconds. Smiling, thinking about what's next. I can't wait for it. I can't wait to push it together. Eight. Oh, I gotta tell you something else about my classes versus the marathon. Not yet though, that'll be coming up. Two, one, rest it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, team. On your left elbow. Remember, option to bring a knee down. I want you to try to keep those knees up. Here we go, three, two. Everybody starts on time. Maybe it's a good distraction, I'll tell you now. So I figured, I put out a community post and people voted. I figure the marathon is maybe about equivalent to doing five of these classes in a row. So the question is, what would you rather do? A full marathon, which is 26.2 miles. You can run, walk it, whatever you want to do. Or Five of these classes in a row, no break, back to back to back to back to back. 15 seconds to go, think about it. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> right now, we're really struggling. Come on, you got this. Five, three, two, ah, rest, oh, killer, absolutely killer. Get rid of the weight, keep it down. Cardio, right into it. Table jacks for two, climbers for four. Two, one, let's go. Don't think about it, just do it. Just do it, this is our final cardio. Two in a row, right here. Yes, our triceps are burning. Yes, our arms are on fire. That's part of the challenge. 30 seconds. 
going into roll backs to jump up. So we'll be rolling back on the floor, coming up to standing with a little hop. If you don't want to go floor to standing, you can just do squat lifts like the warm up or squat jumps. 10 seconds. Go, go. Four. Two. Here we go, roll it back. Come on up. Takes a minute here to get the momentum. Go. Remember your option. You can just stand up and do squat lifts or squat jumps, right? Go. This is it. 20 seconds, that's it. Let's go. You're on fire now. Eight. Three, two, rest it. Wow. You're a maniac in such a good way though, right? 20 seconds. Grab water. All fours. Right leg, straight back. Foot is flexed. Up, tap, cross, up, tap, center. Two, one. Let's go. Whew. Fabulous. Just a few more exercises to go. The next one is another side plank, though. <laughs> Think about your glute working to bring that leg up. It doesn't have to come high. Great. Way to go, team. You're also working your hamstrings a lot here. I feel mine burning like crazy. 15 seconds. Almost there. Seven, three, two, ah, rest. Woo -hoo -hoo. Man. All right, onto your left elbow once again. This time, actually, let's go on our hand. We're gonna go on our hand, tapping front to back, two hip lifts. Here we go, front to back, two hip lifts. I know, I know, I know. Sometimes I can be so mean, right? That's okay. You gotta be mean sometimes to get strong. Love to hate me, right? Good job, Ellie. 30 seconds. Remind me to tell you about book club. It's starting very soon. You don't want to miss it. So much fun. Now that's relaxing. Just thinking of it right now brings me warm and fuzzy feelings. 10 seconds. Unlike this torture. Four, three, two. Ah, rest. Oh. Okay, team. We got that other side. And then we're done. Left leg. Wow. You are on fire. Two, one. Let's go. Left leg. Glute taps. We're almost there. Almost to the stretch. So fit, so amazing. You are inspiring so many. You don't even realize it, you don't even know it. There are so many people out there that are looking up to you because you do things like this. You do what's hard to make your life look easy. 20 seconds. Don't 
doing the hard stuff now. And when we live our lives, it's so easy to pick up that piece of paper that fell on the floor. Four. Two. Ah, rest. Ugh. Oh. Okay, last exercise. Last hard one. Onto your left hand. You can keep a knee down and tap, tap. Right, three, two. Here we go, tap, tap. Hip lift. This is it. Just know that you just have to hang on a little while longer and all of the uncomfortable pain will be erased before you know it. Just have to push through with me a little longer. Just 30 more seconds. That's it. Keep those hips up. Just wait. 20. That time just flies. We're flying now. Almost there. Come on, 10 seconds. All the way. Go, go, go. Three, two, rest. Ah! Oh boy, sometimes you just have to scream, right? Whew. Way to do it. Let's stretch it out. Stay with me. It's gonna feel so great. Child's pose. Knees apart, hips back, reach forward. Deep breath in and let it out. Walk your hands on over to the right. Reach, reach out, especially with that left hand. And walk your hands over to the left. Reach out. Back to center. Walk your hands in. Come on up. Wide legs. Back down to one side. Get those inner thighs. And other side. Now next time, we're gonna reach out our outside hand. So if you're going to the left, like me, that left arm reaches up to the ceiling. And to the right, reach that right arm up. Four seconds. Good, good, good. All right, pigeon on the right. Right leg in front, left leg in back. Knee comes out slightly. You can stay up or you can bring yourself down. So book club. The next book we are reading in book club is called Maybe You Should Talk to Someone. It's a book about a therapist. Hold on. Bring that back leg to the front. Let's see if I can do this without cramping this time. Reach around, get your foot, try to stretch out that quad. Oh, mine is just so sore and tight. If you, if you need to, you can stand up and do this as well. Just grab your right foot and stand up. Okay. It is called, maybe you should talk to someone about a therapist who all of her, a lot of her stories about her clients. Let's go right to the left, pigeon on the left. And she also, her life is kind of falling apart at the same time. So it's supposed to be funny, it's supposed to be intriguing. Um, it's not necessarily fitness for our body, which is kind of our, a lot of our typical, but it's fitness more for our mind. It's also entertaining. So I have not read it, obviously. You can tell by the way I'm explaining it. <laughs> Bring that back leg to the front. Let's get that quad on the left. But I have heard from several friends on how good they thought it was. It also gets really high ratings, so I'm excited to read it together, to talk about it, to laugh about it, and just to talk about our lives. So I will put the link in the description to sign up for book club. It's starting very soon. It's Wednesdays, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Release that foot. Come on into Downward Facing Dog, and let's pedal it out. Bring one leg forward to a lunge, twisting it up. Doesn't matter which leg, because we will go to the other side. 
Back to downward dog and switch to the other side. Twist it up. And back to downward dog. Hold here. Walk your feet slightly in, open up your legs and drop your head down between your legs. Walking your hands to one side. Yeah, so you don't wanna miss the book club. I also have all my other links in the description. Check them out for the mat, the Amazon store, anything that you are interested in. And you can always comment with questions. You can always email me with questions. Courtney at Courtney.fit. Go ahead and slightly bend your knees, roll yourself on up. Head comes up very last. Wow. We conquered it together. So proud of us. Remember how I said how amazing we'd feel at the end? How do you feel? Fantastic, right? Let's go spread the energy. Let's go get our family awake, if you're like me, or just go tell somebody how great they are. Have a wonderful day. I will see you for the next workout, and you did it. So proud of us. You are incredible. Check out Book Club, join us. I wanna see you, I wanna meet you. Good job, team.